Oh yeah, <laughs> it's scary again. Um, it's been a while since I did the slate table video, but this has been caused me a bit of hassle because first of all, I wanted it opening inwards and then uh, it didn't work because it had hit the ceiling on the inside. And then I designed it and started building it so it opened outwards and the hinges didn't work and it hit the bag and everything else. So all I did was lower it a bit so you could open it inwards and it missed the ceiling. Simple. Um, but, and then uh, this is it. So here's the video to see how I did it. The ply has been ripped down to 220mm and then I'm going to sand it all. Uh, it's WBP 18mm ply and uh, I've just started roughly kind of putting out where the shelves are going to be. Right, this middle section I'm going to make as one so it can be hinged. Uh, now to make it nice and sturdy I ripped this down to 220 mil, which is a nice size for the book. And also I have biscuit jointed each shelf, which I'll glue and then also I'll put some screws in the back. And also with the back panel on the shelf, it should hold everything nice and rigid so I can hinge off that and uh, have the two top and bottom pieces fixed. But we'll have a go. The only downside of not having a workshop is having to work in your front room again. So I'm trying to mask the joint between where the door opens and where the shelf is, but we'll just have to see how it works. This is my workshop for today. Chop saw, bench saw, thickness saw. And if it starts raining, I've had it. Back to plan A, top fixed, bottom one opening. I was having too many problems with trying to get all the both fixed together and opening. It just isn't, it's just not gonna work. So I've gone back again to the top fixed, bottom one open, and someone's come to inspect, wondering why it's not finished. Because I've had to take all pieces again because of all the problems, but, we're, uh, we're getting there. I've had a schoolboy error, or did one, or whatever it is. Um, when I made most of the width for this, I didn't give for the angle of when you open this back far edge of hitting the door, hitting the wall. Um, I even watched a video and they had the same problem, so I thought, right, I won't do that when I come to do mine. I'll make sure it fits. And what did I do? Yes. So now, after changing uh, the design around, this will be the third time, I'm gonna have to cut 50 mil off uh, one of the edges here, <coughs> and then start all over again. Okay, you would have thought I learned after 30 years, wouldn't you? There you go. I've 
ended up having to use normal hinges um, and because it, I thought it was too tight to the edge, I've kicked it out, unfortunately. I've had to recut that. And uh, it does swing open 90 degrees, so after all that mucking about, it actually worked. I've had to put a packer on here. Um, I've glued it and screwed it to give a bit of thing to actually make it work, but it works. Not pretty. <coughs> I've already cut out there for another hinge. I mean, there's two on here already, and I, just in case, I'll fit, a, fit another hinge on there, and hopefully it'll be okay. You wouldn't have thought something so simple could be so difficult. The moment I'm trying to work or we'll make it blend in together with the rest of the skirt that was originally there. And I'll do and say, I think the easiest way is to glue and pin that in place. Glue and pin that on there. So when it closes, it comes flush with the panel or I might make it a little bit bigger so it hangs over just a little bit so you can't see the gap underneath that runs all the way along. When you open the door, obviously the beading's gonna catch on here. So to get it to open, you've got to cut back at an angle so much and it's still hitting. So uh, what I've decided to do uh, is cut out very carefully the beading so when it gets pushed on it closes it'll actually go in to the slot that I'm cutting. Now this will either look good or I'll bugger it up completely. Uh, I'll give it a go. Right we're gonna treat this like a, a mini hinge I suppose. And with a hinge, like a lot of chippers do, to make sure we got like our perimeter and it's a uh, help stop tear out from your chisels as we go around it with a Stanley knife very carefully, just really slow until you make a groove. Uh, all the way around. I'm not sure how deep I'm going to go, I'll have a little experiment there. And to make it even more awkward, I'm right handed. So this is a pain. So, I'll go around the outside, around the outside, around the outside. Try not to cut the cables. And then, make a little nick in there, my hands are shaking. All right due to some pills I'm on. Oh no, doesn't help. And then, um, I'm gonna use some chisels. Uh, this is, these are Japanese chisels. Oh, let me go. These are Japanese chisels I've got. Um, they, they cost quite a bit, but if you're doing it every day, um, they're, they're brilliant, they're beautiful. Uh, I can't say what they are in Japanese, uh, but there you go. Anyway, let me try and do this. What we'll try and do is get our perimeter. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger because this has got to have, remember, this has got to have a coat of paint on whereas the oak hasn't. Now I'm not going to chisel down there because I know it's going to split out. Um, depth wise, don't know. We'll have a look. Um, she's looking nice, quite tidy, but the only problem is it's got to be done at an angle again. So when you open the door, it's a bit difficult to do all this at the same time it still gets jammed. So all we need to do now is take off this back edge. There's the angle. I couldn't film and light do it at the same time. I was just stuck in the cupboard. So there, it's at an angle. And 
It only works, doesn't it? Right, because I don't want to paint the oak face of the shells, what I'm going to do is put some Liberon wax in it. So what you do is just shave some little bits and pieces off from the actual bar itself. It's light oak, by the way. And you get it in between your fingers and roll it until it gets nice and warm and then it starts to soften up. Then you go up to the hole and just put some in. Squash it all the way in as much as you can. And let's get a chisel. Chisel off the excess. Just rub the last bit in. And then if you want to, you can rub over the face of it with a light over 240 or even higher sandpaper. And you'll never know it's there. Once all the weight goes on with all the books that are in the case, um, it's going to put a lot of weight on here. For some reason, this ramps up a little bit and I can't wake it away. So when the door opens, it, that's loose. So when it closes, it will lift it up into the right position. I've packed out all this, this is all this oak and glued and screwed to the door itself as well. So it should be able to take these wheels, I think, can take something like 600 kilos, apparently, according to the paperwork, but we'll see. Now the latch to open the door itself and to keep it locked. First of all, I was going to have the book that you tilt, put some uh, MDF in there, and the gate latch to keep it closed, and also got a cable to pull it all. I think that's a little bit too complicated really. So I've decided, I'm gonna have a, my collection of cameras here. So what I've decided I'm gonna do is so pour 20 volt into the bottom of the camera. And I'm gonna cut the end off. And then I'm gonna put a washer on both sides underneath. So all you have to do really is lift up the camera and it should be free and then you pull it closed and set the camera back down and then it's locked. So that's the idea. The trouble is once I started and it didn't work out well was it really because that means I've drilled holes in my shells. Right, at the moment I have done it, but I'm uh, not quite happy. If I could find, or if I could get a, a metal, a smooth metal bar, uh, and then put a quarter 20 thread on the top to go into the bottom. So if you listen at the moment, you can hear it, because it's on the thread. So what I want to do is so it's nice and smooth and you don't have to bring it up and down. But it works. But it needs a little bit of bit of fine fettling. It's been like everything really. I mean it's good turn out all right. Taking a long time, but no. Anyway, that is it. Hope you liked it. Um, comments below, thumbs up, uh, subscribe, should be good. And uh, till the next time. Cheers! <laughs>